What is good YouTube? Chris's Kicks here back with another sneaker review and today we have the Jordan Retro 1 and Paris Saint Germain PSG. Uh, so these shoes released uh, on Tuesday a couple of days ago as part of the Nike sneakers app week of ones. Uh, they released a different pair of ones every day throughout this week. I think Monday was the Shadows, Tuesday was the PSGs, yesterday, Wednesday was the um, not for resale ones. Today I think it's the white and green recent Jordan ones and uh, tomorrow I think it's the white and purple. Um, I didn't actually pick these up from the sneakers app. I actually got them from uh, End. I won the End launches raffle. Is that focused or is it blurry? Yeah, so I won uh, off of End launches. Uh, I've actually had quite a good uh, few months or month or so of uh, winning stuff. Um, if you subscribe to my channel in my recent Nigel Sylvester Jordan 1 video, I said I actually had to pay resale for those sneakers and I haven't paid resale in a very long time, but I really, really wanted those and I was complaining in that video that I never win raffles, I never cop on sneakers, I never get anything. Uh, I think I've only ever won two raffles ever, which was the pair of Yeezy 750s like maybe two years ago. Uh, and the Jordan Off-White Retro Ones, the first pair, the Chicago 10s, I won those from sneakers and stuff. But I literally never win raffles. And I complained about it in, this, in the Nigel Sylvester video. And then a week later, the Jordan Retro 5 PSGs released. And I got those from the sneakers app. And I was so happy because it was like the first... I didn't even really want... Well, I don't follow football, soccer if you're American, and uh, so I didn't really care about PSG ones, but I was so gassed that I got them from the sneakers app. Uh, and now that I actually have them, I really like them. And then just last week, the Easy 700s, the Mauve ones released, and I won the Foot Patrol raffle. I didn't even collect them because they were 250 retail, I didn't even like them. Uh, lucky I didn't bother getting them because it seems they were bricks and they just they seem to be sitting everywhere. Uh, I think it's the 250 price tag. And then obviously this week, uh, I've won the end launches raffle. So I've had, uh, since complaining, I've had like uh, three wins, which is pretty good. Um, one thing I do want to say though is when I do win a release, like I just did with the end email and the sneakers and stuff, one when I had the Chicago's, and I think Foot Locker was the Yeezys, I always show you like proof that I won the raffle or proof that I won the, re the, the release. There's other YouTubers and I'm not saying something shady is going on, but like they always seem to get all the raffle releases because a lot of the hype stuff is raffle only. I don't ever see one email confirmation saying you won the raffle or one like, because some of them are Instagram raffles. No direct message saying congratulations, you won or whatever. They never show any proof that they win the raffles. And what I've started noticing is all the barcodes on the boxes are offspring barcodes. So I'm not saying, because Offspring seems to be the one that's saying they want to get sneakers into the hands of sneakerheads and not resellers and stuff like that. But a lot of YouTubers that are posting up videos of all the hyped up releases, the raffle releases, they never show you proof of winning a raffle, but it all seems to be Offspring barcodes. So I don't know, something's going on. My my opinion anyway. Anyway, that's enough of my moaning and ranting. Now let's get into the video. So the standard Jordan 1 box, the black and red box. Uh, first thing obviously you're going to notice is I've got two different pairs of laces in the sneakers. I am definitely not keeping them like that but I just wanted to show that they did come with two sets of laces a black pair of laces and a red pair of laces and I wanted to show you both looks rather than uh, just letting you try and imagine what those ones would look like they did come with the black laces in them originally and the black ones actually do have some nice sort of chrome metal aglets with the uh, Jordan Jumpman I probably won't be able to see but there's a nice little red Jumpman on there and you've got the nice chrome aglets on the lace tips Whereas the red pair, unfortunately, is just a generic pair of red laces, plastic uh, lace tips, nothing special going on. So that's a bit disappointing that they didn't put the lace tips on both laces. Um, there's not really much to say. <coughs> sorry, there's not really much to say on a pair of Jordan ones. There's uh, been hundreds of reviews on Jordan ones. You've seen everything you're going to see. I'm not going to tell you anything new. I'll show you a bit of the PSG detailing. Um, 
and I've got the Jordan 5 PSGs, so I'm going to do a bit of a comparison between the two. Um, but in general, it is a nylon Jordan 1. Uh, I haven't seen a nylon pair before. Um, it does have that sort of weird fabric to it. It does give them a sort of nice matte black look, um, but 100% this toe box is going to crease like crazy. I think I've got a pair of Air Max 1s that have a nylon toe box and it is completely creased up. Like It looks terrible after a few wears of creasing. And I know Jordan 1s usually look pretty good beat up, but I just don't think the nylon is going to look good beaten up. So any nylon upper, uh, you've got the white midsole with a little PSG red, white and black strip on there. You've got a black Nike swoosh in leather uh, on both the medial and lateral sides. And you do have the Jordan Wings uh, logo as a patch. So it's not like a debossed or embossed logo uh, or uh, sort of detailing on there. It's actually a patch stitched in. Um, completely nylon, black outsole on the bottom. On the tongue, you do have that Nike Air on the uh, original sort of OG style, but it has the PSG coloring behind it. And on the back of the tongue, you've got all red with the Paris PSG, Paris Saint Germain logo with the Jordan Jumpman in the middle. And the insoles, I can't take them out, they're stuck in, but it's the same as the Jordan 5s, completely white insole with a black strip down the middle. And in, in French, I believe it's PSG's uh, chant, which is We Are Paris, on the insole. Um, that is going to be it for this sneaker, but I'll give you some of my thoughts and I'll just quickly show you the uh, Jordan 5 PSG. So when the Jordan 5 came out, uh, there was rumours that the Jordan 1 was a player exclusive or like a friends and family as they call it pair. And the Jordan 5 was the, the sort of public release. But obviously we're a month later and the Jordan 1 has got a release. Now when these came out, I was actually quite critical saying that these are quite a lazy collab. Um, they're just basically a black metallic five, similar to black metallic five, but instead of being silver, that's sort of a cookies and cream color. They've blacked out the tongue instead of keeping it um, of that 3M coloring. But they did do a few little bits, like the number, they changed it to a 75, which is the Paris postcode. The uh, back of the webbing, I don't know if it will pick up in the lighting, but it does say Paris behind the webbing with the Jumpman as the logo. On the uh, bottom of the sole, you do have the PSG logo. It's obviously mine are quite dirty now. I've worn them a few times. But you do have the PSG uh, Jumpman logo underneath the sole. And on the back of the heel, you do have the Paris St. Germain logo with the Jumpman in it. And again, that PSG strip there. I think it would have been much nicer if on the back of the ones, they also put that on the heel cup here. Um, because really, these which I thought were a lazy collab, have way more now than these do. Pretty much all these have is that little tiny strip there, which is a, a piece of fabric that's glued on. And it's the corners of that, I can already tell that once it starts getting wet and damp and rainy and dirty, those corners are gonna start peeling up and then you're gonna just have this flappy panel. And the tongue tag is the, the, only, literally, the only two bits that make this a PSG collab, uh, unless you knew it was a nylon sneaker. Which is why I'm going to go for the red laces, which is why I'm disappointed they don't have the metal aglets. Because the red laces, at least, you know, from afar, you can tell that this is a little bit different than, say, for example, this sneaker, which is the Jordan Cyber 1. So if you put these two sort of side by side, um, they're both just white and black Jordan 1s. This one's leather, this one's nylon, but they pretty much look exactly like the same pair of sneakers. So, aside from this one having the red sort of uh, tongue tag and that tiny little hit there, there's nothing really that separates these two sneakers. So for me, I'm going to go with the red laces just so they look a bit more sort of different or a collab. You can tell that they're, they're not just the uh, cyber ones from afar. But yeah, it is very disappointing that all they have is this little tiny hit here and uh, the, the color on the tongue. I mean, obviously they've done it on the back of the tongue, but I really don't understand why like the Jordan 5s, this could not have been on the heel cup of the Jordan 1s. That would have made a massive difference. Um, anyway, that is gonna be the wrapping up of the review. Let me know your thoughts on these. Oh, uh, retail price was 140 UK pounds. So uh, obviously the price of Jordan 1 seems to be going up and up. Um, which one do you prefer, the 5s or the 1s? 
I actually, in general, prefer Jordan 1s. I don't really like Jordan 5s at all. Uh, I think the PSGs and the Supreme Camo ones are the only 5s that I have. Um, but in terms of the two collabs, I would say the Jordan 5 uh, is way better than the Jordan 1. They've done way more. That literally is just two two things on that and made it out of nylon. Um, which one do you prefer? Did you pick up both? Uh, these seem to have sat, uh, especially I think it was Pro Sports, seem to have a full size run for like a whole day. I don't know if that was a glitch on their website and they've cancelled orders or if that was correct. But a few other sites as well seem to have a lot more stock of these than the Jordan 5s. Uh, considering these were rumoured to be a player exclusive at first. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the review. I hope you enjoyed my moaning. Um, I do like the sneaker, but yeah, I just wish the red laces had the metal lace tips. Um, anyway, if you want to follow me on social media, I've deleted my Twitter because I never really use it. But Instagram, it's Chris underscore S underscore Ramos, but there will be a clickable link in the description if you can't bother to tap that in. Uh, I reply to all my comments on Instagram and I can reply to all the comments on my YouTube. So if you've got any comments or questions or suggestions, please hit me up. I always interact with everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review. Hit me up in the comments and I'll speak to you again soon. Peace.